Hello. Right, I've done a video in a while, so just a quick one today. Give a bit of an update. Been really busy on the van, so got lots and lots done since the last video, which was, I think it was installing the fan. Been loads and loads done since then. Just been working flat out on it. So, just gonna give you a quick look around. So since then uh, we've done, well, Literally, we had nothing in here at the time, so the ceiling's been done. Did TNG on the ceiling. Carpeted the sides. Fitted curtains on here. The bed has gone in. The floor's gone down. But yeah, it's hard to remember everything, but yeah, so. That's the bed there. It's basically an IKEA double bed frame. Which, here it is, which I've strengthened by putting a couple of uh, struts underneath. This here is, I'll show you on the outside in a minute, but that's the, for the water tank. It's going to go down to the floor. And that's for the mains, for the electric. We've also done, oh God, I'll go under the bed, shall we? This is just temporary to go away this week. So we've got the one battery hooked up. I have got another one to do as well. Uh, that's running off the SeaTech. It's only off solar at the minute. I've yet to... Um, I have got connected up to my main battery as well. And there's my main fuse box. So I have got some electrics. I've also... Put this flooring down. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's really hard wearing, so it should be good. I haven't done the uh, garage area yet, just because I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. I'd like to put some of the uh, the checker plate, the metal stuff. I think that'll look really good. But yeah, um, the TNG on the ceiling, which I did, and I've uh, stained it with light oak. I've put six spotlights in, which are all, they're all touch lights. Then this hole here is just for, this is going to be, um, is a mushroom vent up on the roof. So it's just to give it a bit of ventilation. That's where the shower and air area is going to go there. Yeah, it's hard to remember everything. Here's the other curtain there. I've got carpet that door as well. Done quite a bit of carpeting on the walls. I forgot about that. I didn't have walls in last time. So yeah, I just done a bit of an edge up into the TNG. I think it came off really good. A couple of storage nets there. Just putting your phone and everything in when you go when you're going to sleep. I fitted this here, which is gonna be for the, the fly net to cover the door. Just haven't done that yet, which is not gonna be done for a while now, as I want to get up and use the van. There's a seat swivel, which we did the video on last time. I purchased the, uh, the blind for the Max fan. Comes across. Keeps it nice and dark in the night. Yeah, and then there's our little electric panel and the remote for the uh, Max A fan. Just show you a quick. So, lights should work now. Go wrong now. Here we are. I'm gonna show you them all. <laughs> so that's the six lights working. And then this, this is a beast this is, this Max A fan. There he goes. Yeah, that's a brilliant bit of kit that is. Keep it nice and cool in the van. Keep it nice and fresh. Just gonna knock it back off to ruin the uh, audio. And perfect, what else have we done? Oh, yeah. I fitted blinds in the front. Which are these, 
They are, what are they, Remus. Just for the cab blinds. So they come across like so. There's one on that side, one on that side, and then there's one which, let's put this about the half across. Comes across the front as well. So we've now got blinds all the way around the front and curtains in the back. Put that back in. Yeah, so really happy with the progress so far. Still got the, uh, the kitchen you need to fit in, the sink, the fridge, and the shower toilet area. Let's go put it down there because I can't turn this chair. I have fitted the water tank underneath. Also done quite a lot of work outside which I'm not going to go up on the roof now, but I will in the next video just to show the solar panel and the roof rack system that I went for It's 34 degrees in here, boiling Yeah, I'll quickly show you what else I did on the outside was fit the all in and then there is a light here for this as well, which is really fancy. I'm going to turn it back on. And that's the light. And the awning. Let's put these wind deflectors on just so you can open the windows up in the front when it's raining. Let's knock this back off. It's making noises. Yeah, that's about everything for now. I'll give a bit more of a detailed view next time as I'm rushing this video out a bit because as you can see I'm in the Liverpool top and it's half time and I want to get back to watch the second half and eat my pizza. But yeah, hoping to get away in the van now for a couple of weeks up into Scotland, give it a proper test out. We did do three nights last week going around Wales, which was really, really good and just camped wild and Found some really nice spots, really enjoyed it. And there was a few little bits which, you know, you can change on the van and stuff then, ready for this longer trip. So yeah, good job with a little catch up. I know it's been a long time. We're gonna use the van now for, we're planning around a two week trip. Just test it out, going round everywhere. Then when we come back, get started on the kitchen, the shower area and get all that done. But yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry about the delay. I shall catch you in the next one.